Welcome to our final session of our chair yoga series with prepositional phrases. Today we are near a cornfield and I have some of Jay's corn here where I've shucked the corn and I've exposed a worm. Do you see that worm there growing in a munching and crunching on this cob of corn? Uh, so today we want to think about what is it that we need to shuck? Like have we take away the layers, uh, things that are not serving us well? And uh, if we do some cleaning up once we expose what we need to expose, uh, we want to think those thoughts today as we work near the cornfield. We want to finish strong. Today we'll be thinking of uh, core strengthening exercises or postures. So we'll be working on all five warriors today, as well as we're going to do some laughing to work on our core strength. And Miss Brome's got some corner jokes. So uh, pull up your chair, get yourself in some comfy clothes, and let's yoga together. The 23rd Psalm has always been especially comforting to me, and I hope that it is to you. I'll be glad to post the words to uh, Sally Lloyd Jones's version of the Jesus Storybook Bible version of the 23rd Psalm. And it goes like this. We start with our hands in prayer and breathe them up into your lap. God is my shepherd and I am his little lamb. All right, half a banana. He feeds me. He guides me. Eat the other half of the banana. He looks after me. I have everything I need. Inside my heart is very quiet, as quiet as lying on soft green grass in a meadow by a little stream. And even though I walk through the dark and the scary, lonely places, I won't be afraid because my shepherd knows where I am. He is here with me. He is keeping me safe and he rescues me. He makes me strong and brave. He is getting wonderful things ready for me, especially for me. Everything I ever dreamed of. He fills my heart so full of happiness, I can't hold it all inside. Wherever I go, I know that God's never stopping, never giving up, all unbreaking, always and forever love will go to. Yay! Such a comfort to know the words to the 23rd Psalm. Um, when we think of it, we often just use that uh, King James Version, but it's nice to listen to the words in somebody else's uh, version to really think about the words and really to feel the comfort and the peace that uh, comes with this psalm. Okay, we'll warm up uh, with our sun salutations now, and we'll start with our first corny joke. And notice I got my tag on here, Miss Minnie Pearl. I thought that was even more corny uh, to add to our fun today. And uh, how about what did the baby corn say to the mama corn? Where is popcorn? <laughs> so we'll give, begin with hands to the heart, breathing in, breathing out. And then breathe, hands high. And exhale, hands to the thighs. Breathe in, reach forward or away from your body. Exhale, fold. Oh, there goes the corn cob. All right, breathe in, reach high. And exhale, fold. Breathe in, reach high. And exhale, fold. Grab your corn cob hat. Breathe in tall and reach overhead and exhale as you bring your thumbs to your heart. Palms together. Breath in, breath out. Breathe in and breathe out, reaching high, and on the out breath, hands to the lap. Breathe in, reach forward, and exhale, fold. Inhale, reach one hand high, and exhale, make a train. Inhale, reach the opposite hand um, high and low on the out breath, and then inhale up, arms high, and exhale, thumbs to your heart. Breath in, breath out. Breathe in, reach high. Exhale, hands to lap. Breathe in, reach forward, and exhale, fold. Inhale, breathe. 
reach one hand high to the sky, opening up that chest, getting a good stretch. And exhale, make a trade, lift the opposite hand high. Exhale, fold. And one last breath in, reaching high. And thumbs to heart. Now, why did the pirate get a, such pri a good price at, on his corn when he went shopping? Well, you know, he just paid a buccaneer. Arr. Okay, we'll work our bodies now. We're going to do a series with Warrior Two, a reverse warrior, and a humble warrior. So today we want to work all five warriors to really think about being strong, finishing the series strong, um, doing whatever it is we need to do next with courage and strength and confidence. So take one leg to the side of your chair, bend the knee, and stretch the other leg back. And again, make it flat and sideways, belly button and hip points are facing away from you and reaching the arms out. If you want to reset the shoulders and keep good space between your shoulders and ears, palms to the sky and then slide back into place. You are strong. You have confidence. You can do hard things. I'm still wearing my earrings. Find your peaceful warrior stretching up in the side body, getting ready for a good joke. What do you call a cob of corn that joins up the arm with the army? A colonel. Alright, come on back down and through. And then now reset and find your um, lunge or your warrior one posture here. You can keep the foot down or come up on the toe. And we're going to work the humble warrior. So the knee that's forward, take that arm up first. Take the elbows together, hands together. Or if you want to tuck the elbow in the elbow crease and wrap. Lift, breath in. And breath out. And if you want more to strengthen the tummy, if you need more, if this is working for you and you don't need any more, just hold here. But if you would like to crunch here, we'll do some war a humble warrior crunches. So we're breathing in and fold in the warrior. Reach it up. <sighs> breath in and breath out as you work your humble warrior. And one more. And hold right here. This is our humble warrior where we bow. You got this. Welcome to Wibble Wobble. Welcome to Shaking. That's you working hard. Squeeze, squeeze, and lift high. All right, unwrap, uncurl, unfurl, feet together. Shimmy, shake, and breathe the wings up. And breathe the wings down. And breathe the wings up. And breathe the wings down. And now we work the other side. So warrior two, a reverse warrior, and humble warrior with that eagle crunch, eagle arms and a crunch with it. Okay, so warrior two, Flatten sideways with that foot, knee in this direction. Stretch the arms out, hips are over, uh, sh shoulders are over hips, and your gaze is over that middle finger. Relax your shoulders, smile on your face. You've got this. Keep breathing 
as you work. Birds are singing, the sky is bright, the sun is shining, I'm feeling all right. Breathe in, reach high, and stretch out the side body. We get ready for another corny joke. Take another breath, anticipation. Anticipation. I'm making you wait. Here we go. What kind of corn is sold at the university? I'm sure they sell it at Clemson. Unicorn. <laughs> All right, we're relaxing the shoulders and now we're gonna take the leg that's bent. We're gonna use that elbow as the place to park the opposite elbow. Eagle arms, hold your warrior here. We'll readjust that back foot to get more of a warrior one where the belly button is reaching out over the knee now. And then to humble the warrior, remember we're gonna breathe in, lift elbows, and exhale, fold. But you're welcome to keep your warrior up or down or wherever it works best for you. We'll crunch it a couple of times more, breathe it in, exhale. Breathe in, exhale. And then hold it right here. So you're not laying on your leg, you're really working that core here. So I'm really wobbling and, um, and um, squirming, and that's good, right? All right, breathe in, reach high, and exhale, unfurl and curl, give a little jig jog, breathe the wings up. Exhale them down, breathe the wings up. And exhale and down. Okay, it's time for another corny joke. All right, so did you know that you should not tell secrets in the cornfield? It's all ears. <laughs> all right, we're going to stand up by our chair and work around our chair now. The first thing we're going to do is hold on to the side of the chair and work some leg lifts. All right, so we're gonna take uh, the leg closest to the chair for a balancing leg, and the leg that is outside away from the chair is gonna be long and strong as you lift it up and cross it over. And lift it up and cross it over. Three, I'm gonna have to count, Deborah. Four. Five. Six, seven, and eight. All right, now set up for your triangle. If you need to wiggle or jiggle, those muscles will work in. And if you need to relax them with a wiggle jiggle, give yourself that opportunity. So toe underneath the chair, leg extends, flatten sideways with that toe, um, reaching away from you, and then arms out like a letter T. Crossing that capital letter, hip away, breath in, push out over the chair seat, and reach. Hang on. There are many, many benefits with triangle pose. I've got some notes here to remind you today of what all you are doing when you work your triangle. You are stretching your leg muscles, or you're stretching the muscles around the knees, you're stretching the ankle joints and the hips. The groin muscles, the hamstrings, the muscles in the backs of the legs, including the calves. You're stretching your shoulder, you're stretching your chest, you're stretching your spine. And you're also strengthening. You're strengthening your legs, your knees, your ankles, your abs. You're, strength, you're strengthening the obliques, the muscles that wrap around the tummy. Um, you're strengthening your back. And, there, wait, there's more. All right, you get uh, stimulation for the function of the abdominal organs with this posture. You relieve stress, you improve di uh, digestion, and alleviate back pain. And that's not all, that's just what I could fit on my little piece of paper. All right, squeeze your tummy muscles and lift the triangle out and take the toes on the railroad tracks again as you roll your shoulders up and back and down and around and up and back and down and around. 
Okay, it's time for another corny joke. Let me look them up here on my little list. Uh, let's try... I got arrested for the way I eat corn. I was charged with salt and buttery. <laughs> All right, we're going to come to the back of our um, uh, chair and we are going to form the corn. Okay, so this is a song that kind of goes with our... Um, a cornfield. So um, I'm turning my chair so you can kind of see my feet and what they do. But we're going to form the corn, form, form the corn. We're going to form the corn, form, form the corn. And then we're going to pop the corn, pop, pop the corn. We're going to pop the corn, pop, pop the corn. This is a great song that has lots of verses, but the one about the corn I thought was fitting today. So we'll try it again. We'll start with our opposite arm. So form the corn, form, form the corn. Form the corn, form, form the corn, and then we'll pop up your toes. Here you go, the corn. Rock back, the corn, pop, pop the corn, and then we'll pop the corn, pop, pop the corn. All right, rock those heels, rock up to the toes. Rock those heels, rock up to the toes. Rock those heels, rock up to the toes, and then we'll try our leg lifts, our um, our triangle pose on the opposite side. All right, so holding on to the chair, balancing on the leg closest to the chair, extending this leg, and we're working um, the adductor muscles and the abductor muscles as we reach across. One, two, you can extend the arm if you'd like to get a little more balance challenge. Three, four, keep breathing, five, Six, seven, eight. All right, plug in your foot uh, so that they're on railroad tracks and then take a toe underneath the um, chair. All right, it's triangle pose base. Legs are long and strong, arms go out. We're working all those wonderful benefits on this side of the body now. Breathe in and exhale. Push out over the hand and reach down. So why didn't the corn, the corn chip advocate wear shoes? They believed in free toes. Keep breathing and stretching and balancing all those parts of you. Strong through your tummy, strong through your legs, push through the ground, reach up, and then shake everything out. And this time we'll lift shoulders to your ears and then push them down. And shoulders to the ears and then push them down. And shoulders to the ears. One more time. And then push them down. Okay, we'll now take our um, chair uh, to the, we'll be at the back of the chair, and I'm just turning mine sideways so that you can see my legs better. And we're going to work the other two warriors. So there's five warriors in yoga. We've worked um, seated in the chair today. We did warrior two. We worked the reverse warrior, the peaceful warrior, and then we worked our humble warrior with our eagle arms. And so now we're going to try our warrior one standing um, and our warrior three. So take one foot forward towards the back of your chair and extend the other leg back. Belly button reach into the back of the chair and arms extend overhead. Or you're welcome to hang on, right? You're welcome to hang on to the back of the chair as you work warrior one. Keep breathing. What did the cob of corn say when it received a compliment? Aw, oh, shucks. From warrior one, we're going to work warrior three. 
So I'm going to go ahead and reach to the back of my chair and scooch that bended leg back to be the balancing leg. Belly button reaches towards the ground as I lift the back leg. Hips are going to stay side by side. The back toe is reaching towards the ground. And if you would like to challenge yourself more, remember you can take your hands off for wings or you can even work on taking prayer hands to the chest, thumbs to the heart. Welcome the wibble wobble, that's you getting stronger. And it's okay too just to hang on. So whatever works for you today, that's the right thing to try. Gracefully lower that back leg as gracefully as you can. And we'll work warrior one and warrior three on the opposite side. So we're ground that foot into um, uh, like the floor, but really feel connection with the floor. And then take the opposite leg back, bending the forward leg, hanging on here, or maybe lifting elbow creases by ears, or elbows may bend and pinkies rotate one another. All right, have you ever seen chickens uh, peck a whole cob of corn? Of course not, it's impeccable. <laughs> Keep breathing, You're having fun. All right, we'll reach to the back of the chair. We'll bring back that leg to balance on. Lift the opposite leg, toe reaches to the ground like the belly button is reaching to the ground. And maybe hands stay here on the back of the chair or maybe you go for wings with your hands or maybe you go for thumbs to the heart and try that balance challenge. Lower the back leg as gracefully as you can, and we'll come back to the chair for one more uh, core strengthening effort, and that'll be our boat, okay? We will work our boat pose. Now, you know when we work boat on the floor, there's always lots of options, and again, in the chair, there will be too. So one of the things you can do is just reach to the back of your chair, to the seat of the chair, and you can um, come up on your tiptoes, and you can already feel that working in the tummy and that may be all that you want to go for for today and that's cool okay if you like to go for a little more you can lift one leg and keep breathing relaxing the shoulders keep the smile on your face or you can lift the opposite leg taking those alternating lifts and then, of course, we can lift both legs. Let Miss Brome see if I can give that a try. I'm going to scooch up a little more on my chair as I lean back. And again, if you can lift your legs up like the boat looks like when we try it on the mat, go for it. But I think this is all I've got today. Breathing in, breathing out. I hope you found yoga, chair yoga near the cornfield to be amazing. All right, lift, lower everything and then pull a knee to the chest and rotate an ankle. Roll it both directions and point and flex. Take your opposite leg lifted, roll the ankle. And point and flex. And then roll over onto the sides of the ankles and then roll to the insti uh, insides. So working that ankle in all directions. So before we rest today, we'll uh, rest or twist our bodies to realign the spine. Tiptoe yourself around. 
reach to the back of your chair. Grow tall on the inhale and on the exhale. Get a little more to the twist. tall, tiptoe around to the opposite side. Grow tall on your inhale and on your exhale, reach around to the back of your chair for a twist. A good hug to all the insides of you. around get yourself comfortable in your chair or lay on the floor put your legs in the chair whatever feels best for you get yourself ready to rest and again we'll read from relax kids the wishing star close your eyes and be very still and imagine that you are standing or sitting uh, resting near a cornfield now this is a magic cornfield and you see a little door. You open the door and walk through the cornfield to a magical fairy world. There are hundreds of corridors and rooms inside. And you have a look and see if you can find a door with your name on it. Now when you found it, go inside this room. This is your special room. Can you see the big comfy chair in the corner? Go over to the chair and sit very quietly and peacefully. Right next to the chair is a table and on the table is a silver box. This is your power box. And inside the power box, is everything you need to help you cope with any difficult situations you might have in life. Open the box and you see lots of colorful cards with a different word written on each one. The cards say love, peace, forgiveness, happiness, Drink. Choose a card and read what it says. What card have you picked today? The stiller you stay, the more you will understand what the card means. When you are ready, put the card back, get up from the chair, and come out of the room. Close the door and come out of the magic cornfield. Whenever you feel upset or scared, or feel unhappy in any way, just pop back into the secret special room, take a card, and you will feel much better. Now when you're ready, wiggle fingers and toes. And, and Give yourself a big stretch and open your eyes. Everything you need is inside. Everything I need is inside. Let's close today with Psalm 100, 
when I was in second grade, Miss Hartley had made us recite this. I learned this by heart as a second grade student, something I know we couldn't do today, but I'm so thankful because uh, those words have stayed with me and bring me joy. And so let's try Psalm 100 with some um, mudras, some yoga motions with our hands uh, to help uh, hold it in our hearts and our heads. So I'll teach it to you and then we'll give it a try together. I've got it written on the front and back of my paper, so I'll um, just flip over as we go. Um, but we'll start off with make a joyful noise unto the Lord all the earth. So make the earth with your um, whole world mudra, touching fingertips and thumb tips together. Now worship the Lord with gladness, make praise on hands. All right, worship the Lord with gladness, come before him with joyful songs. Um, know that the Lord is God. Now palms together, one thumb up, one thumb down, and then slide to fingertips and then just pull there. I'm showing you what that looks like, but you'll keep it like this. Relax your shoulders as you work. Know that the Lord is God. It is he who made us slide back and we are the people and sheep of his pastures. Now rotate the palms so that the opposite thumb uh, is up and bend down. Enter his gates with thanksgiving and his courts with praise. And then pull the fingers back out as I flip the page. Give thanks to him and praise his name. So slide back together and do your prayer hands. For the Lord is good. Thumbs up for that. His love endures forever. Make the heart mudra with interlacing the fingers and a ching thumb tips together. And then hold the heart here at your chest for his love endures forever and his faithfulness continues uh, through all generations. All right, so let's try that as we close and as we finish strong near the cornfield with our chair yoga today. All right, Psalm 100. Make a joyful noise unto the Lord all the earth. Worship the Lord with gladness. Come before him with joyful songs. Know that the Lord is God. It is he who made us, and we are his people and the sheep of his pasture. Enter his gates with uh, thanksgiving and his courts with praise. All right, twist those hands. There we go. Uh, give thanks to him and praise his name. For the Lord is good and his love endures forever and his faithfulness continues through all generations. Yogis, thank you so much for practicing uh, the series with me. I have thoroughly enjoyed putting it together. I'm so thankful to share some yoga with you, even though we may be alone, we are together, and I look forward to practicing with you uh, more and more in the future, whether it's virtually or face-to-face. -face. May the road rise to meet you. May the wind blow at your back. May the sun shine warmly on your face. May the rain fall softly on your fields. And until we meet again, until we meet again, may God hold you in the palm of his hand. Ah. As you leave the cornfield today, what is the layer that you need to shuck? What is the idea or habit or thought or experience that you need to let go of because it no longer serves you well? Let it go and live your best life. Namaste, yogi friends.